New allegations this weekend of bullying, if not corruption, made against top officials in Governor Chris Christie's administration. Hoboken Mayor Don Zimmer, a Democrat, claims top Christie officials threatened to withhold Sandy relief funds unless she went along with a lucrative development project. This morning, the state's lieutenant governor, named as one of the two alleged intimidators, hit back hard. Mayor Zimmer's version of our conversation in May of 2013 is not only false, but is illogical and does not withstand scrutiny when all of the facts are examined. With 80% of her city underwater after Superstorm Sandy, Zimmer was desperate for relief funds and in the midst of statewide cleanup efforts, Governor Christie visited Hoboken promising aid. I spoke to the mayor this morning and told her that Hoboken is in the front of my mind and whenever there's any assistance that needed here, we will be here to help. Hoboken is perched along the Hudson River facing Manhattan where developers have the potential to make huge profits. Developers such as the Rockefeller Group, whose plan to develop an area in northern Hoboken was stalled by the local planning board. And that's when Mayor Zimmer says the lieutenant governor stepped in to deliver a message from Christie at a political event last May. The lieutenant governor pulled me aside and she said, the Rock, you know, essentially, you got to move forward with the Rockefeller project. This, is, this project is really important to the governor. And she said that she had been with him on Friday night and that this was a direct message from the governor. Zimmer also charges that New Jersey Community Affairs Commissioner Richard Constable told her at a panel discussion, quote, the money will flow if she approved the development plan. Zimmer tells CNN she met with the U.S. attorney for two hours on Sunday, showing him what she says are diary entries from the day she says she was pressured by Christie's lieutenant governor. I thought he was honest. I thought he was moral. I thought he was something very different, she wrote. I am so disappointed. It literally brings tears to my eyes. Christie's camp says the whole thing is just abjectly false. I deny any suggestion made by Mayor Zimmer that there was ever any condition on the release of Sandy funds by me. Zimmer alleges the governor's office followed through on their threats, giving Hoboken just a fraction of the $100 million in requested hazard mitigation funds. But Christie's office says in total, Zimmer had requested one-third of the total $300 million the state could spend from those funds. They could not come close to meeting her demands, they say, since they only had enough to meet 2% of state requests. In total, Hoboken is in line to get $70 million from the total pot of relief funds, the Christie administration says. After the Bridgegate scandal broke, Zimmer told CNN she did not think political retaliation played a part in her struggles to get relief aid for Hoboken. And throughout last year, she sent out tweets praising the governor and his storm relief efforts. But that all changed over the weekend. She now says she was intimidated. Defenders and accusers are largely breaking down along partisan lines. Here's New Jersey Democratic Congressman Frank Pallone. The Christie administration, you know, does bullying, does threats. I mean, you know, I hear it all the time. And, and I just think that what we're seeing is this culture that comes from the top. And former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, a Republican, on NBC Sunday. It clearly is a partisan witch hunt. My goodness. Today, Zimmer reiterated she's willing to swear to all of this under oath. But those she's accusing say, bring it on. I look forward to the inquiries. I am sure, absolutely sure, all of the facts will come out.